I'm gonna explain what is EC2 metadata. So if I go back to this AWS, so there is one. So I have one of the instance I'll be running. So let me lock in. So let's connect to this instance. Okay, I just connected to that instance. So EC2 metadata means data about this instance. So how are you gonna check that? So we need to do curl space HTTP colon that's the I we need to put this IP yeah, you can read this in a uh, uh, AWS document 169.254 and 169.254 then latest I slash meta hyphen data so I didn't even uh, uh, I just connected to that machine and uh, I just ran this command so when I ran this command so it didn't ask for any authentication so straight away it's been uh, given this uh, all the information about this uh, EC2 uh, I mean this instance so I could see metrics network placement profile public IP so all the details I could see here so so anyone can uh, log into this machine and uh, if they run this com uh, command curl HTTP this one so they're gonna see all these data so if you want to secure this so so if somebody runs this command so it's gonna ask uh, if it asks for any authentication so that means that's uh, that's the way we can secure it so for that uh, I've gone through I just came across one of these uh, article good articles so I'm gonna put this link in description so what is I am uh, I mean uh, we need to upgrade that IMDS to that uh, version version 2 so IMDS stands for this instance metadata service version one for one okay so in version one uh, it doesn't uh, ask for uh, i mean it basically depends on request and response method so but version two is a session oriented so just go to this article i'm going to put that uh, link uh, link in the description there so the problem is that as i say that it doesn't ask for authentication uh, in this case i just uh, uh, i just run, I run this command so so in order to secure it so we need to run uh, some command so just run copy this command and uh, just go to your aws account then uh, click on cloud shell so this way we don't need to uh, give a security secure and access key and secret key so it automatically comes with it so if you want to do it in your in in your local terminal you can do that as well just but before that you need to configure that aws uh, con you need to run aws configure command so this cloud shell makes easy so just paste the command and uh, you need to put that instance id so whichever the instance you would like to secure so in this case i do have only one instance one instance so check it and uh, copy that instance id and uh, paste it here okay so if you check it here in if i enter space these http tokens it's optional so that's why it's not asking for any uh, authentication so uh, let's go back to that article again is that over here okay so that's what it explains this article so we need to change then uh, copy this command copy over here and then uh, let me change it id instance id okay just remove this stuff then uh, let me paste that id okay that's it then let's copy this to the uh, cloud shell and just enter Q that's gonna quit then, okay that's fine paste it and enter so now it says that HTTP tokens it changed to required so if I run that the same thing again that 
the previous curl command now see it says 401 unauthorized access so we need the token uh, so someone comes here and if some if they run this command so it's gonna ask for authentication because we just change it to our IM this version 2 okay let's go back to the article again so how you gonna see that so in order to re uh, acquire that uh, what okay now that enable okay, we don't need to run this one though so then if I run this uh, as we just did then then how are you gonna get the token so just copy this command okay let me change it if I need okay okay we don't need to change just uh, copy this command and put that in your so once you run this command so this is a variable so the output of this command is gonna store in this token then we're gonna use the token variable uh, to check now if I run this now now I could see that so so this is the way we can uh, upgrade that I am uh, was that sorry this I am DSV yes version 1 to that version 2 that instant metadata service so thank you